The Geneva Centre for Security Policy recently welcomed Mikko Kiinonen, Finland's first ambassador for hybrid issues at the Ministry for Foreign Affairs. We had the opportunity to sit down with him to discuss how hybrid issues need to be taken more into account in foreign and security policy. Join us for this one-on-one -on -one conversation with him and hear about his perspective on this topic. I think hybrid issues, hybrid threats, uh, uh, is there's nothing new in it. Uh, I mean, if you look at uh, Trojan uh, War, that would be what three thousand years ago. Uh, a wooden horse was one means that was used in conquering uh, a Troja town. If you look at warfare in general in different places, I think always during the war, uh, governments, countries use uh, different means. Uh, However, I think now again we are having a different time. Uh, one, one shift in Europe was the um, illegal annexation of Crimea and occupation of it in 2014, the beginning of the war in eastern Ukraine 2014. I think with um, it's been generally seen that there's been quite heavy hybrid elements in those. Also, same year, Again, a new form of terrorism. I mean, I mentioned Al-Qaeda uh, when I was here, and apocalyptic terrorism. Now, uh, new terrorism in the form of ISIL started in 2014. ISIL also perhaps being one of the sort of leading um, non-governmental actors uh, using um, hybrid means uh, in, in functioning, including in, in recruiting. So all these things, I think, have brought hybrid issues uh, much to the, to the discussion. And at the same time, I think ever since two, two and a half years ago, Brexit, uh, uh, presidential elections in, uh, in the US, um, Spain's uh, Catalonia referendum, uh, uh, France presidential election, uh, the alleged um, interference to the election, I think, is one of the other bigger things that has brought uh, also uh, the importance of countering hybrid threats more uh, to the uh, international agenda. 